going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 6 of our Leicester City career mode. And today, two games for you. Burnley in the league, and then we have Moscow in the Europa League. Of course, last episode, we had that 5-2 loss in the Cup to West Brom. Rotated team, not too, too worried, but there's some players that need to start stepping up if they want a spot in the squad. And then the three results before that were pretty good. We had a 2-1 win over Brighton, a 2-1 win over Napoli, a 1-1 with Manchester City, even though we gave up that goal on the last kick of the game but we're playing pretty well and hopefully we can continue it here and now we have a Burnley squad who's always very very tricky we're gonna run Eze and Dak up front with Vardy um, we'll put Samari there we're actually gonna run Anthony up front and then at left back we'll run Bertrand um, I'm gonna bring anybody off the reserves onto the bench. We'll bring Mendy out here. But let's jump into this. Burnley, Leicester, always a tough test. Let's go. Zindidi. Samari. Samari tries to find Vardy, and he does, and Vardy scores here inside three minutes. What a ball from Samari this is, and brilliant from Vardy to take this and score. Gets put in here. Nice ball, great take, good finish. And that is... Uh, a great way to start this game. Not much else you can say about it. A really, really good pass from Samari. It was a late addition, really. I thought about keeping Tillemans in there. It didn't quite happen. And Samari repays our faith immediately. As we go ahead and grab an early goal. 1-0. What a start. Now here's Anthony. And he slides it through to Vardy. And is he onside? He is. It's two. Wow, 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 wow. Two goals in a couple of minutes. Two for Jamie Vardy, and that one's almost a tap-in, really, as he's been left alone in the middle of the six-yard box. Anthony finds him, and Vardy makes no mistake. Perfectly timed run, perfectly timed pass, and a simple enough finish for the man up front. Vardy who's really starting to score goals now, five in his last three games. The only goal scorer in our last three games, really. If you discount the cup, I suppose, when we rotated everybody. But in games he's played, flying at the moment. Oh, nice turn back outside by Stevens there as he clips it across. And wow, that has hit the post. And then hit Schmeichel and gone behind. I saw Antonio there. He's playing at Burnley. I have a hard time believing he'd leave West Ham. But here he is. Nice touch there by Antonio. And he gets a good ball in. And wow, I thought he put that in the back of the net. That would have been some finish and some goal. But you get lucky as it goes wide. Gets it out there to Pereira now. And Pereira can turn inside. Finds a good ball to Samare. Gets it out to Anthony. Pereira now. And he finds Ndidi. Nice ball out there. And we can slide it back across. And it's Eze. And he's oh, put that over the top. And uh, just held the button too long there, honestly. And unfortunately, we don't grab a third. Nicely done. Oh, that was weird. Took a couple frames off. Oh, I've let him step inside there. And that's a great save. And <laughs> so you backed off after the fact, which is not ideal. But thankfully, Schmeichel there to save it. As that Ketter comes across goal on the corner and... We get to clear it. And it's Madison who's going to drag this on here. And Madison finds a brilliant ball out there to Vardy. And it's Vardy. Oh, what a save. Man, the finesse shots are not very good one-on-one -on -one in this game. They're good for, like, deeper end stuff. Like, if you're out here, that's, like, a good time for one of those. But, oh, just past the post there is Ndidi. But the finesse shots one-on-one -on -one are really, really not good. We should be scoring there. I mean, we should be killing Burnley at the moment. It's only two, though. Fofana finds Madison. There's a little bit of space here, and that's a really good ball across, and it's one more on. Nicely done! Oh, what a save! Almost finding the back of the net there. Mendy, the substitute. This was pretty much his first touch as the goalkeeper comes out and collects that. Here's Mendy. Gets it back to Samare, and Samare slide it in here. 
Here's Madison. Gets it out there. Anthony. Lovely football here. Comes to Lookman. Takes it down. Goes for the curl. Oh, good save. Really good fingertip save there from Hennessy. Who once again keeps us out. God knows how many saves he's made so far today. As Anthony gets that out to Fofana. Soyuncu. And nobody steps up on him. Soyuncu gets it in there to Daku. Turns brilliantly and can't quite get the shot off. Nice header here is Daku. At the pace. And he's just going to force a problem inside here. And it's Daku. <laughs> Tried to go for goal there. And Hennessy saved it. As that corner comes in, and it looked like soon she might have a free header, but Hennessy collects it, and with a minute to go, we're going to come away with another win. It's 2-0, and I suppose you can do that silly mantra, it's always, or it's only Burnley, but today in real life, Lester only took a point away from Burnley, needed a late goal to grab that point, and we did well here, even though we conceded a goal. I mean, we could have had six. It's going to finish 2-1. But we could have had six or seven today. We were really, really good going forward. And naturally to give up a goal, last kick of the game, is very much like us. But a win's a win, and we'll take the three points right now. But a very, very good performance in the end against an always plucky Burnley team. Two early goals that really set it up. But as you can see, 11 shots... We can go ahead and take a look and see how many saves, perhaps. I mean, we should have scored 4.7 goals, that says. Unexpected goals is what it is. Four saves by the Burnley goalkeeper. A couple there that were off target should have been goals, you know. Um, so, not too bad. Going to take that in stride. It's a good result, and we played rather well. And we're doing this thing again. Anthony's a right winger, but he's playing on the right side of a front three. Um, but it is what it is. Um, really sorry you feel that way, Amarty, but he is a player I'm probably just going to let go. As he's not really... What is this? See, he just said, fine, you can go. And now he's not very happy that we haven't given him a contract. I... It's just happened a day ago. I'm not sure what it is, but, you know, we'll deal with it. But here we are. We got Spartak Moscow now as an offer for Amarty has come in. And I'm going to accept that, mainly because he was going to leave for free. You're going to let him leave for free as Mendy is out for five days. We're going to let him leave for free, and then all of a sudden a bid comes in when they could be taking him for free. They want that premium to make sure he comes there in January. That's fine. If he can agree terms, that's fine. But here we are. A win here would theoretically take us top of the group if Napoli do their business. Everybody on the front line, or the whole team really, is fit. So we're going to jump into this. Leicester Spartak. Let's go. Pereira. Can we get off to a quick start like we did last time? As that comes into Vardy. And he steps inside, and it's a decent save. And then cleared away. Almost a start, just like we had against Burnley. Not quite, though, as Vardy's on it here. Slides it back out. Here's Iannaccio. Indeedy. And we give it away there. Nobody coming out to give Indeedy an outlet, but very close to an opening goal. Ooh, can't quite get that. Moses has a shot. It's blocked away, and it's unlucky as it falls right to a Spartak man, but Thankfully, Schmeichel parries away the shot. It wasn't a great shot, but it was a sh shot he had to save nonetheless. Now here comes Barnes, and he plays a brilliant first-time ball here to Vardy, who's trying to hold off the defender. He does. Oh, and he can't quite finish it. Oh, he did so well there, Vardy, to hold everybody off. He just could not put it past the goalkeeper, and once again, that... Bad finesse shot. Rears its head again. It's going to take a while for me to not naturally do those finesse shots, but. Oof, big chance. Nicely played. Here's Vardy. Does well get that out there to Ndidi. Back inside here. Nicely done. There's space out here, and he goes first time. That's a good save. 
Whether that was going over or not, I do not know, but it's a good save nonetheless as that corner comes in. And it's Fofana just past the post. Thought he found the back of the net, but just wide. Man, they just move the ball around so easy. And nobody's... Mm, we got to push. 1-0 to Spartak. Not what we wanted to see, but it's almost like they always have a free guy. Someone's got to step up here defensively. We have Soyuncu there. No midfielders come over to help. Eventually, just trying to keep space out there with Soyuncu, and they exploit it. But my God, a midfielder's got to come help or something. There are just three players over there for two defenders, and the second you make a move, it gets beaten. That cannot happen. Fofana just gets it out. Back inside. Here's Ndidi. Plays it across. Castagne. We get it back in. We can. Nicely done. And Ndidi finds Vardy here. It's 1-1. That's a big goal. Big goal there to bring us back level. And now we have ourselves a game over the last half hour. It's a nice ball into Ndidi. And there's just so much space. They let Vardy have all of it. Vardy makes no mistake. Hits it first time. Goalkeeper trying to go the other way. He can't get a touch onto it. And on 63 minutes, we level it. Mm, can't quite win that header. That's good play. Oh, I've let him in. What a finish as well. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Oh. Why did I step? Why did I do that? It comes in here and that's just dumb on my part. And I was just trying to get back and didn't make the right movement. It's a really good finish from Ponce. But it's a really stupid decision on my end. And it gives Spartak the lead with 10 minutes to go. That is a That is annoying. Nice. Here's Madison. His touch was just a little bit heavy, but he's going to get onto it. And he clips it in nicely. And it's a good turn. And what an awful finish. Tried to turn quickly. I could have played it, I suppose. As this is onto Samare. And his touch is really, really bad there. Oh, and that's a really good touch there from Spartak as well. Ugh. I should have just played that to Vardy. I suppose I could have. I didn't expect the finish to be so bad on the turn. As that goes out wide here, and with only four or three minutes to go, we're going to need a late bit of magic here to grab a point as Madison's on it, and that's dreadful. And thankfully, Soyuncu wins it here, but he just can't get rid of it. And it's been one of those days at the back. Nicely done here. That's a big touch. We play it out. We can. Here's Castagne. Two minutes added on. And we can't play the ball up the pitch. And we are going to be beaten here in Russia. And it's a poor result. Two goals could have done better. The second one especially. But that one stings a little bit. It's one we should have at least gotten a point out of. Instead, we leave with nothing. Did Napoli win their game? They did 3-1. So there are three teams tied atop the table. Actually, all four teams are on three points, aren't they? Yeah, all four teams sit on three points, which is just... It's a waste. It's a waste. It's an opportunity to really get ahead in the group, and we can't take it. We don't take it, and everything... Oh, man, sometimes <laughs> sometimes there are chances, you miss chances, and some sting more than others, and that one, that's a bad one to miss out on, but it is what it is. Next episode, guys, we got a couple of games. One was Crystal Palace, as you saw, and then we have Manchester United in there as well, so the big game. But we got to keep on winning. We've put some good form together besides that game there. Up to 8th now. United there in 5th, 2 points ahead of us. We win both games tomorrow. 
and we passed them both up, or we passed United up, so that would be ideal. Let's take a look at our Youth Academy and see if we have anybody here who looks incredible. This lad right here, Ferreira at right back, 9, 85 to 94, 63 overall already. And he looks very, very good to start with. But that is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.